When you solder a wire, you first strip the wire and twist the ends together. Then, you take your heated soldering iron. You'll know that your soldering iron is hot enough when the solder melts like this. You take that small little patch that you added to the iron and you touch it to the wire. Then you add solder along the length of the wire. And that's it. So if we want to take another wire and attach it to this one, we'll go ahead and tin it, bring it down, and all you have to do after you tin them is to stick them together, run the iron along the length, and there you go. Now that looks pretty easy, but it's actually pretty hard to make a, a sturdy joint if you've never done it before. So I'm going to show you here how to make a joint that is pretty strong and easy to do. So you strip both of your wires twice as long as you need them to be. Then you put them over each other like so. Then you bend your first one down straight like that. Then you wrap it over and over and over and over until you run out of wire. Then you take your other one and you bend it straight around, and wrap it over, 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 and then you give it a slight tug that pulls it together. That is called the Western Union Splice, and it's actually very easy to solder. Um, it doesn't try to get away from you. You don't need any, anything to hold it. And it's very, very strong. With PC boards, the idea is to quickly apply just the right amount of solder and then stop before your device overheats. So we'll do like we did with the wire where we add a little bit of solder and then we'll come straight in, heat up the board, make a dab, come straight in, put a little on our tip, heat up the board, add solder back out and we'll come in from this way come in from this way so you can see add a little solder to our tip touch the board and add solder that's it now one of the biggest problems people have when they're soldering is they let that solder tip get real cruddy and you can just wipe that off add a little more solder and you're good to go again. Also, if you do get a finish that looks like that on your material or on your circuit board, just go ahead and add a little solder and a little heat. It should clean it right up. I hope that was helpful. Click subscribe to see our other videos and we'll see you next time on Create.